What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Now let's jump right on in and start talking about the grease points on the John Deere 8R tractors. Now, there are really only going to be two major places that we need to be looking for grease points. The first one is going to be here at the front axle and then the second one is going to be at our rear hitch. Now here at the front axle you can have a couple of different setups. One is going to be the ILS setup which is the independent link suspension which is what we're going to have on this machine which is going to have 10 grease points on each side of your axle. So 10 over here on the left, 10 over on the right. We're gonna go over each one of those and then we'll move to the rear hitch. Now the other style that you could have is just the regular MFWD axle where you're still gonna have quite a few grease points but we're going to have such things as the tie rods, the steering cylinders, the MFWD U-joints, and the kingpins. Now on these eight R's, we are gonna have a really tight space here. Not much room for me to get back behind the machine to show you where these grease points are. But I wanna point out how this is independent is kind of like it would be on an ATV or a UTV. Now what we're gonna see is one A arm that comes out here at the top, one A arm that comes out here at the bottom, then we're going to have this stabilizer cylinder here. Then you're going to have your actual drive line there in the middle that runs out to the wheel. So we have a ton of moving pieces in here that is going to add up to 10 different grease points. So if we start by looking at those, we're going to look at our A arms on top. We have two at the top here on this top A arm. Then as we start to move our way down, we have this little arm here, which is going to have two on it. So that makes for four. Then we're going to have one on the inside of our top A arm, which is gonna make for five. Then once we move down to our lower A arm, we're gonna have one down there at the very bottom, which is going to make for six. Then if we move to the inside of the A arm close to the tractor, we're gonna have two more there, which is going to make for eight. And then we're gonna have one on each end of this cylinder here, which is going to make for nine and 10. Now, like I said, I know that that is a lot right here only on one side of our front axle, but we're gonna have these same 10 grease points over on the right-hand side as well as we do the left hand. So make sure that you are hitting both of those whenever you're doing maintenance on your front axle of your machine. Now, our other main greasable section of this tractor is of course gonna be here at the rear hitch. Now, this is gonna have all of the same grease points. If you have seen our video over the 6R or the 7R tractor, you're gonna have almost the exact same grease points on this machine as you would those. So what you're gonna be looking for is you're gonna be looking for your arms here your linkage arms, you're gonna have a grease point at the bottom and at the top on both sides of these. So on the right hand and left hand side, you're gonna have one on your linkages that are gonna be at the top and the bottom. Then on our center link here, we're gonna have one just towards the bottom of it. Once we move back behind those arms, we're gonna have those lift cylinders that we always have that raise up and down this three point. You are gonna have a grease cert on the top of that cylinder and also on the bottom on the right hand side and of course on the left hand side. And then once we move even further back behind our lift cylinders is where we're gonna have our rock shaft right back here. We're going to have those grease points right on top on the right hand side and also on the left hand side. Now, once we've got all of those grease points handled and all of the grease points in the front, you are pretty much done unless you have some additional equipment on your machine. So if you have such things as a front three point hitch on your machine, you're gonna have a few more grease points up there that are gonna be similar to the ones we'd have here on our rear three point hitch. Or another thing that you could have is you could have a wagon style hitch back here at the rear, at the rear a wagon style rear hitch that may have a couple of grease points there that you're going to want to check out but other than that the rear hitch the front axle are going to be your main two points that we need to be checking out so guys i hope this video helped you out i hope that you liked this video if you did we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel also guys if you are wanting to see more videos like this or also just more videos over john deere equipment in general make sure to check out the rest of our channel and as always guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time hey guys make sure to check out this cool video and this one Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.